Join 20 like-minded travellers for a 28-night adventure that's sure to stimulate your zest for life and adventure. With a seven-day luxury land program of Peru, our tour takes in Lima, Cusco, the Sacred Valley, a return journey on the famous all-inclusive luxurious Hiram Bingham train from the Sacred Valley to Machu Picchu, and returning to Cusco. Of course, there's an overnight at one of the most uniquely situated hotels in the world, the Belmont Sanctuary Lodge Machu Picchu, where all meals and beverages are included. The hotel is located just metres from the entrance to Machu Picchu itself. This unique setting gives you plenty of time to explore one of the most mysterious places in the world. We've included afternoon and morning tours, so you have plenty of time to explore and take in the mesmerising view. Our land program is hosted by local English-speaking guides and our Latitude 33 tour host. This seven-day program is perfectly paced to give you time to explore or just relax and take in your surroundings. Not to mention, acclimatise to the altitude. This is just one of the signatures of Latitude 33 tours. On the 8th of April 2022, we'll fly to Iquitos and board the purpose-built, all-inclusive Seaborne Venture for a 21-night unique cruise itinerary. Venture will feature 132 luxurious oceanfront veranda suites and will include a plethora of modern hardware and technology. Combined with a team of 26 experts, Venture will bring the expedition experience to life in true Seaborne ultra luxury. Seaborne Venture will feature all the things Seaborne guests have become accustomed to, such as superb dining in a choice of venues, complimentary premium spirits and fine wines available on board at all times, award-winning service and a relaxed, sociable atmosphere that makes guests feel right at home on board. The quality of service you'll enjoy on Seaborne is exceptionally sincere. You will feel the discernible difference between being simply catered to and being truly cared for. Seaborne's award-winning cuisine starts with the finest quality ingredients, infused with authentic regional flavours, prepared a la minute by their skilled chefs, and served with pride. Each Seaborne ship offers a choice of dining venues to suit your mood of the moment, and nearly all are open seating, inviting you to dine where, when, and with whom you wish. You can even enjoy a meal in your suite or on your veranda with Seaborne's compliments. Seaborne is a proud member of Chien de Rotisseur, one of the world's most prestigious gastronomic societies devoted to the art of fine dining. Our cruise commences in Iquitos, which is at the very start of the Amazon. We'll spend 14 days exploring and making our way all the way along the Amazon, visiting places so remote they are rarely visited by humans. We'll also visit the largest city and the main port on the Amazon, Manaus. It is actually located on the Rio Negro, a few miles from where it meets the Rio Solimois to form the Amazon at the famous meeting of the waters. While in Manaus, perhaps visit the Teatro Amazonas, which is an Italian Renaissance opera house constructed of imported materials that hosted world-famous artists at the height of the rubber boom. Next, we'll visit Buca dos Boto and Parinchins, which is home to the Pink Dolphins. Santa Rem is next, which is a busy port for the trade flowing up and down the Amazon, between the Atlantic and the inland forests. Local markets are fun to explore, and other excursions include visiting the small tributaries and forests, and fishing for the infamous piranha fish. Next is Guajara, and an opportunity to join a zodiac adventure with the naturalists from the expedition team exploring the banks of the Guajara River, a tributary of the Amazon. At Riverside Buffalo Farms, take advantage of the chance to interact with the Kabuklo, the people who have adapted to living and working in close association with the river, and to learn about their lifestyle. As you pass through an area of gallery forest, 
Keep an eye out for some of the many colourful tropical bird species that inhabit the region, as well as reptiles and mammals that may be glimpsed either in the trees or on the banks. The elusive pink river dolphins called buto frequent this area as well. Kabuklo legend maintains that the dolphins possess the capability to transform themselves into handsome young men at night and seduce unwary maidens living in the riverside communities. Next is Makapa on the north channel of the Amazon. At the river's broad mouth, Makapa sits smack on the equator, cut off from the rest of Brazil. Here you'll find the Marco Zero Monument which is a place where you can hop from the northern hemisphere to the southern. The San Jose de Macapá Fortress, which supposedly guarded against riverine invasions and is an historic site in a rather subdued way, and also Upper do Cariao, which is a village of descendants of escaped slaves with some unique local customs and commemorations. Devil's Island is our next stop, which was used as a prison from 1852 to 1953. Today, tropical vegetation is invading and covering the ruins, creating an eerie ambience. Your day is free to explore the prison ruins or search for signs of the surprisingly abundant wildlife. Praia is our last stop and is the capital city of Cape Verde, which is off the coast of West Africa. The city is on the southern coast of Santiago Island. From here, your options are endless. Take one of our optional post tours to Dakar, Morocco, Casablanca, South Africa, or you may choose to fly home. Our tour includes all mentioned, plus private car transfers to and from your home, return airfares, luggage handling, tipping, transfers, and of course, a Latitude 33 tour host. This once-in-a-lifetime experience is sure to sell out quickly. To secure your place, call 1300 636 848 or visit www.latitude33.travel.